so I don't know if you can hear me as well, but I want to do another uh, video on the performance ray gun, the 3M gun. And so I picked out a real tough color. Usually 800J is one of the worst. You know, we don't see it much anymore. They kind of stopped making it and they went to that new one, the uh, WA-140X. So I figured this would be a good one to test out this gun with. We've done the silver with it and it came out beautiful. So let's try it out on a um, 800J Pearl and see how it works. So we're spraying the side of this truck here. We had a repair on the fender, repair on the door, and a blend on the rear. And we got a flare. So we'll see what the old uh, performance gun does on the old 800J and see how it goes. So let's stay tuned to this one. And let's see how uh, this gun performs on this color here. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so we got the car, uh, the truck all sealed with white sealer. Look how dark that nice coat is compared to that white sealer, guys. 800J is a ye real yellowy pearl, so we're going to do this test out with this gun on it and see how it does. So we got it all sealed up now. Here's the flare. And uh, we'll move on to the base next. So just wanted you guys to see the sealer on it. I didn't use this gun to seal it with. I'm running out of the cups at the moment. Otherwise, I would have used it for sealer too. But we're going to go ahead and use it for the base. Blend it out. And I'll show you how I blend out my pearls to get the best uh, blend on these uh, three stages. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So we got the base loaded in the gun. This is the ground coat. And I went with the darker, which is chip one in the Sherwin deck for the 800J. So we're going to start off with that. I'm going to put a couple coats of the base on. And then I'm going to show you how I like to milk out my uh, base. So that way I don't get any speckles at the end of my blend with my pearls. It just transitions real nice. And uh, then we'll go ahead and pearl it. So stay tuned and let's put some of this base on, guys. my whites I like to put my white on let it dry and then uh, put another coat on I don't like back to back in my white because I don't want it to bleed out I like stacking it on dry coats that way I get coverage all the way so we put one on it we're gonna go ahead and put another one on it in a minute so stay tuned that's the first coat and uh, we'll see how this uh, gun's doing so 800J has always been a problem color for years. You know, they had a million variants in every kind of paint line that there is. So we'll try this out and then we could say, you know, we did a three stage 800J and we did a silver with it. So this gun's a stand up gun. So let's see how it does and uh, stay tuned guys. guys so the first coat flashed off and we're gonna go ahead and put on coat uh, two so let's go ahead and do that all right guys so that's coat two now and I started blending it out with the Full concentrate with the gun and then I'm gonna have a thinned out milked out um, white with the actual 920 uh, mid coat in it that way it's thinner 
and it won't leave such big pellets at the end of my blend. So I like stepping my blend out like that. So I like stepping out my blend with a with a thinned out uh, white, and I milk out my my base color with the 920 base uh, additive, and that's like a base coat clear that you guys have, and, and all the systems have it. Um, so you guys can thin out your uh, white, so that way at the end of your blend you don't have as many little white specks. You'll have more of a uh, candy effect on the on the on the end of the blend. So. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up now, and I'll show you how I do that, and then we'll blend it out. Stay tuned, guys. So guys, here's the milked out white. And so, I just put a very little bit down at the bottom. I don't even come up to the actual lines on the cup. Because if you put too much white, it's too much. So you just want barely any at the bottom, and then you wanna have about that much 490, or uh, not 490, 490 is in the, um, I think that's PPG. So you use the um, 920 in the P in the Sherwin Williams. Yeah, I mixed up those guys. I've sprayed PPG for a long time. So, but you want to go ahead and use just a little bit of the white to about that much of the uh, base blender, whatever you're using, whatever line you're using, and you want to blend it out with that on the ends of your blends and go over the whole car with it too, just to even it out. And I'll show you how that works out really good. So. Let's check it out and let's see what it does, guys. All right, so I got the milked out base in the, in the gun and it's basically like 100 to one, guys. I'd say it's about 100 to one, 100% 100 of the base clear, for 1% of the white, and then just reduce it like normal. And I'll show you how I blend it out on the end of my blends and throughout the whole job. when it blends out you won't see the speckles at the end of your blend on some of the pearls they'll do that if you don't milk out your uh, white so a lot of guys like to cocktail the the pearl and the base together I just like to use the base in a uh, blending clear milk it out a lot I learned it from a guy from Italy I was looking this up years ago and uh, I found a guy online on it in Italy mixing up the base and he had it like to 100 to one mixture. So I learned that a long time ago and that's how I blend out all my bases, guys. So stay tuned, let me finish this one up and we'll clear it. What's up guys? So the base is all dry, the ground coat, it's blended out and I'll show it to you now and then we're gonna hit it with the pearl. So you can see it's got a good transition even without the pearl on it. When you milk out that base, it really fades it out real nice and gives you a nice blend when you milk out that white before you use the pearl. So I like to do mine that way and you'll see there, see how it's transparent? It just gives it a finer droplet so when you blend it out, you're not blending out such a, a big droplet. You're blending out a, a smaller droplet that's thinner so it blends out nicer. And a lot of guys will turn their pressure up to try to make a smaller droplet but you're putting more material and, and taking your blend further that way so I like to milk out my white and then I'll hit my uh, hit it with my pearl and it blends out nice so let's go ahead and uh, put the pearl on it
pearl. And you can see now the pearl is picking up some of that uh, iridescent color on it now. So we'll probably put three of the pearl on it. And I like to walk my pearls out. That way I don't have any uh, uh, blotches in it or any lines at the jams or anything like that. I like to walk out my pearls. That way it gets a nice consistent coat. So we'll go ahead and put another two more of the pearl on it and then we'll clear it and we'll see how it comes out. As you can see now, it's all pearled. It's got the three coats of the pearl on it. You can't see a blend at all in it. And it came out nice. That gun's really working well, so I'm a big fan of it already. We gotta let this pearl dry for a little while and then we're gonna come back and clear it. And I'll show you the job all said and done. So you guys can see already, it blends it out nice. There's no model. And when you milk out that base coat, it just gives you a really nice blend. So that's how I've been doing it for years. So any of you guys that want to try it, or if you're already doing that, I'm sure there's plenty of guys out there doing it already. So just something I like to do and something that works well. So let's let it dry and let's come back and clear it and see what happens. And so guys, we're going to use the CC950 on this one. That's the Appearance Plus Performance. And see how this stuff does. I've sprayed it before, it's nice clear. I want to try it out with this gun too, with the one two in it. So this is what we're putting on that truck. What's up guys? So I'm gonna go ahead and clear it with this one too. It's got the one two in it, the one two head. And it's got the, the 950 clear I showed you guys earlier. So this is a better, more high solids clear. It's more of a glamour clear. So let's see how this one comes out in this uh, gun guys. So far it's looking good. So this is more of a higher solids clear. So it's with that one two, it's struggling a hair. I'd probably want to try out a different head on it, but we'll see when we're done with it all said and done with the uh, last coat. really nice this clear flows out a little better because it's a higher solids it's a little slower clear than the CC 200 so it ends up flowing out and this thing laid out beautifully with a nice peel for a GM factory look so I'm pretty happy with it so far I'd probably like to try the uh, different head to see the one four or the one three and see what this clear but worked out good came out clean and I'm happy with it again, guys. So that gun can do whatever it needs to do. And it definitely works well, so.
stay tuned to the next video guys and so far i'm happy with this performance spray gun hit the subscribe and the thumbs up